Hello everybody! So you bought a new Oculus Quest 2 or Meta Quest 2 I should say VR headset uh, and you heard about SideQuest but you don't really know what it is? Well in this video I'm gonna explain everything about SideQuest. So SideQuest is a software, downloadable software you can install on either Windows, uh, your uh, Mac OS uh, or Linux. There's also a software you can download for Android uh, as well from the website. Keep in mind this is a safe software, so feel no problem, download it and install it on your computer. Now to download the software, go to sidequestvr.com. Now at the top you're going to see a tab which says get sidequest. Just tap this tab and then choose the appropriate platform which you want to download this software to. For example, I choose the first one because I'm going to download it and install it on my Windows PC. And why download sidequest you ask? Well, because you can find many apps and games that are not available on the official Oculus Store. And this includes many early access games and also free games and demos you can download and play right now. So if you are, for example, on a tight budget and still searching for experiencing many different types of games without breaking your wallet, SideQuest is the answer. However, you can also find App Lab games, but just keep in mind that it won't be installed directly from SideQuest. However, SideQuest will open a window that allows you to actually see the app on the Oculus Store and install it from there. To be able for SideQuest to sideload install apps directly to your headset, we need to enable developer mode. Now to check if developer mode is enabled, uh, it shouldn't be if you haven't enabled it before, but to check it, you need to go to the main page on your Oculus app on your mobile phone now you need on the first page to tap the devices tab as you can see here in the footer now make sure that the quest 2 is selected if you have several headsets just make sure that you choose the right one in this case i choose quest 2 vr headset at the top and you can see that in the headset settings there is a developer mode option you need to tap it once you do this you get to this page where you see developer mode uh, and you need to toggle this on if it's blue, it's on. If it's gray, it's off. Now, if you want to set up this option because it's not yet available, here how to do this. Oh, one last thing. Uh, if you turn developer mode, we'll make sure to reboot your Oculus Quest headset. Now, in the past, there wasn't a need to actually create an organization for a developer to do this, to enable the developer mode, but now it's actually required. Uh, so basically, you need to go to this address and there create your organization. Now just write this URL in a single line and just put it in two lines so you can actually see it clearly, but just single line. And then uh, create your organization and it will be available for you. You don't have to be a developer to do this. Everybody can do this, but this is designed for developers so they can actually test apps on the side quest. From that point on, just repeat why I explained earlier, right? In order to enable developer mode, we need to go to the main page, click Devices on the Oculus mobile app, and from there, choose your headset at the top, in my case, and it should be in your case, Oculus Quest 2, Meta Quest 2. And then, after you do this, in the headset settings, you choose Developer Mode. Then, in the next page, you need to toggle Developer Mode on, uh, if it's blue, it's on, so make sure to just tap it and turn it on. Now next you need to connect your Quest uh, headset to your computer using a cable. I use the official VR link cable, uh, but there are some uh, other ones that are generic that some people use as well, but of course I recommend using the official cable. So make sure the SideQuest app is open on your computer and then connect the headset via the VR link cable to your headset and to your computer. Now, once you connected it, make sure to look in the headset and you should see a pop-up like this. You need to allow access for your device to connect to the headset. So when you see this, deny and allow, click allow. Which at this point, your Quest 2 headset should be recognizable and connected to your SideQuest app. How do you know this? Well, if you look at the top left corner inside the SideQuest app, you can see a circle, a green circle. This means that it's connected. If it's red, it's not connected and you probably need to go over the steps and try again. But I also have a video on my channel, you can check it out, 
that actually explain what to do if you see a red circle and there's a prob problem with connectivity. Alright, so now that it's connected, how do you use a SideQuest app to install games and apps into your Quest headset? First of all, I need to say that there are many features in SideQuest app. Some of them are more advanced than others, and I won't cover all of them here. I'm just going to show you if you're a new user, Oculus Quest user, MetaQuest user, and you want to install apps and games, how to do just that. Alright, so this is the main page. And as you can see, if I browse, I can see many different apps and games, which I can already uh, install if I want to. Uh, at the top, there's home. This is the main page and it can be changed by the way. There are updated versions being released. So again, what you see here might be slightly different uh, than future versions of the app. Uh, for example, I can go to games here at the top uh, and it can browse all the different categories. For example, I can go and just see the App Lab apps or browse by different, you see LD Axis and maybe check out Oculus Homes and other different categories which I can check out, all right? At the bottom here, you can see the main uh, categories, right? Top ones, adventure, app lab, building, climbing. And you can actually see and just tap the arrows to browse for more. And this just shows you the top ones. So usually the top ones, if you're interested in seeing popular apps, uh, this is a way to actually uh, see them. You can also check the Autist app and new apps as well, right? Uh, and those were updated. Now. How to install? Well, we need to choose one. For example, let's say that I want to install Ancient Random. When I over over it, by the way, you can see, by the way, how many people download it. Uh, the rating, uh, you can actually add it to your wish list. You can download this app, you can rate this app, all right? And you can see uh, this is from App Lab, this is Quest. All right, so let's choose a free game. Let's choose that I want to install Gorilla Tag, very popular game. Uh, I'm tapping it and I can get to the page of the game here. I can see lots of information, including reviews and other type of statistics, but you just want to install it. To install it, you go here, there's a button, download the app, Oculus, you see? So if I tap it, uh, oh, sorry, this is App Lab. So now just like a clarification of App Lab apps, as you can see, once I tap the install button inside side app, it will open a window in my browser uh, which leads me to oculus.com website for the page of the app. It shows me notification. This is an app lab app. If I click OK, there's going to be another blue button, big button, as you can see there, which you need to install, uh, sorry, to tap in order to install uh, the app. Then you need to go back to the headset. It won't actually be installed automatically. It will just be seen inside the available apps on your Quest 2 and then you need to click the install button. But you're going to see a thumbnail with, for example, in this case, Gorilla Tag, and you just need to click install. If you press this and it's an App Lab app, it will open a window in your browser. Uh, you can just install it from there. So let's just go in apps that you can sideload and just install directly to the headset. All right. So it's not App Lab. See, it's an App Lab, App Lab. So let's just go, let's say for new. Uh, this one is uh, demo. Yeah. So I tap it. Uh, this one, by the way, is HIO. So actually it opens a window where you can download it from HIO directly. So for example, this is HIO. So I click download. I can say, for example, no thanks. Uh, if you want to support, of course, do that. Uh, I can click download. And it asks me if I want to install this file. If I do continue, it will install the file on my headset. You can actually at the top corner here, you see running tasks, tap it and you can see the app being installed. If installed successfully, you're going to see it uh, in green. You see installing, all right, and finished. Now, let's say I want to install a game directly, not from each. With each I.O., by the way, it's very easy as you can see. Let's choose uh, this one, all right. Uh, oh, here is a side load. So this is installed directly to your headset. So if I want to install AOT Revive, I just click download app sideload. You see installing here. And if you go here, you're gonna see it's being installed as well. This is directly installing on your headset. Also, HIO installed on your headset, but it requires another step, uh, just going to HIO in a mini window inside the app, inside SideQuest, right? And we can see installing. Now it's installed. 
right? You can actually check the headset and you can see that it's installed. Now inside the app, you need to tap this nine uh, dots icon. You see at the bottom right corner to show your apps. By default, you won't see actually the apps that you installed uh, in the all apps section. What you need to do is tap the top right drop down and choose unknown sources. So you see unknown sources, you need to tap unknown sources and then you'll be able to see the apps that we just installed via SideQuest. All right. You can, if you want to uninstall, you can just use the three dot, tap it and choose uninstall app. So this is actually how you see them. If you find yourself, you know, installing apps and you have no idea where they are located. Now to run an app, well, just tap the line of the name of the app and the app will run on your uh, Quest VR headset. Yeah, so there's no beautiful icon and all this uh, stuff, but again, you can play any of these apps, install them on your Quest using this method. So this is it. This is a quick look at uh, how to use SideQuest. Of course, there are many other features uh, which I'm going to explain and I'm already explaining on my channel. So make sure uh, to check it out uh, so you can find more information on the Spooky Fairy website or Spooky Fairy VR, my YouTube channels. Uh, and if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Just keep in mind that some things might change uh, depending on the software installed both on the Oculus Quest and of course on SideQuest if you update them. But again, I'm here to answer all your questions. Uh, so if you are having issues, problems with some things, activity, installing apps, seeing the apps, let me know in the comment section below. And I hopefully, if I have the answer, I will answer you as soon as I can. So again, thanks for watching. Give a like and also consider subscribing. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.